how to remove indents, bruises, scratches from velvet. <laughs> So this customer's chairs was delivered and, and Eva were in storage or fell in the truck causing dents in the fabric which can very hard to get out. Velvet fabric can have like bruises, what we call bruises or dents or even scratches and there's certain procedures that you have to use in order to try and remove them. Here you see a real dent in the fabric. And that looks to me as if it was leaning against some hard edge and pressed in and it's, it's dented the fabric, crushed it, bruised it. So in this video, we're going to show some of the methods or procedures to remove indents from some velvet fabrics. As I said, velvet suffers from scratches, dents and bruises, etc. So here, we're using steam from a Karcher steamer to try and lift the fabric, wake it up. There's no guarantee that this will work. Nine out of ten times it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. But here you see one of our operatives working to try and remove the stains. So on this chair at the front edge is a little like a little dig in the front of the chair. There you see him just clearing the water out of the steamer, so it's just pure steam. He's gonna to try to attempt to see if he can get that dent out of the fabric. Here he puts a towel over the area. And why he's done that, so he can trap the steam. By trapping the steam in that area, ensures that he's getting the steam in the right place. So, he's trying to make the steam penetrate the fabric in order to lift the dent back out. If you just use a carpet cleaning machine that's just going to suck on it, that's not necessarily going to work. And you have to be careful with velvet. You can't just use a carpet cleaning machine certain types of velvet. So here, the best method to, to try and remove the dents from the fabric is to actually use steam. Trap the steam in a certain area to try and remove. There's no guarantees this is going to work, but that's the only way you can actually attempt other than removing the fabric and going to the reverse of the fabric and blowing steam the other way, which is virtually impossible. The insurance company had sent us out to, to try to attempt to see if we can rectify the issue with this, with this uh, chairs. So watch out, try and attempt this using hot steam. working with his buffing brush. Although he's going left to right, up and down, when you finish working with velvet, you need to brush it in the correct direction in order to set back the pile so it's not basically crisscrossing up, down, left to right. So when working with steam here, he's trying to steam 
and then use the buffing brush to actually lift out my palm. It looks as though this is is pressed in by the makeup of the, the, the chair. It has a dent in the chair now. So though he's trying to lift sadly there's also a dent. So clean velvet. If you know how to or you can see how it's been done here, you can actually clean velvet using steam. Chemicals also, you need a dry cleaning solution as well. But steam to work in the fibers, as if it's if you see dirt, signs, signs of dirt in the fabric. So along with the dry cleaning solution and steam you should get a good result try not to point the steam on the velvet because it may spray water now velvet does not let me state again velvet does not like hot water if you put hot water on velvet, on most velvet, you will bruise the velvet. So you don't want to be using hot water at any time, unless you know what you're doing and you know that the fabric is not sensitive to water. Sensitive meaning if you put it on there, if you put water on the fabric, it's just going to shrink the pile. So there you see he's blowing steam directly to the fabric but knowing when his steam machine is gonna spit water out so he only does it for a moment he's trying his best to see if he can get the dent out of as you can see it's looking better from what I can see, it's not fully removed. So, he attempts. Here we show you the one that's on that chair, right at the front. It seems to look a lot better. But as a customer, if you've purchased brand new sofas or chairs and it gets delivered like this, you probably wouldn't want that you'd probably just say um, you want new ones the insurance has sent us out to see if we could rectify this problem normally nine out of ten times you can rectify it with steam but uh, you have to actually know you have to actually see it yourself to know whether it's actually going to work when presented and shown this and, and felt when you actually went up there and felt this you could know that behind the fabric there was a dent so it was really a futile attempt but the insurance sent us along to do our best to see what we could do and you can hear 
customer has to say at the end of the video. So keep watching. If you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. And we always like comments. Try not to rub it at the moment. So there's the owner. It's better. Yeah. Both of them are never going to get away with it. You know, it's worth a try. I'm under some way. Yeah, give it a go first. No way. Yeah, I mean, if it doesn't rain, you can just leave them out here for another half an hour. At the end, the customer says, Yeah, he could have if the insurance like offered him a cash incentive he may just keep them because they're very yeah. expensive oh, chairs no, as yeah. little as you see they they're very expensive i mean i've done one a couple of weeks ago came out so there the opportunity is saying that he just done one yeah. a couple of weeks and ago what type of velvet and it just is he came out i mean velvet comes in all different thicknesses so you and, and, and especially antique velvet you've got to know and you've got to know the fabric that you're working with so here the operative is upselling and telling the customer what he does marble floors wood floors so guys thanks for watching like, share and subscribe. Comment in the comment section.